Hey everybody, it is Sunday, March 15th, and welcome to my Wallapini, aka my underground greenhouse. Uh, today, we're going to plant some seeds. Also, I got some ladybugs in the mail last night, so I'm going to let some ladybugs go because we've got some aphids in there, and I know how quickly they can destroy things. So, uh, it's going to be an exciting day. Outside right now, it's 47 degrees, so... We're gonna step inside the greenhouse here and see what the temperature is in here. Well, close the door a little too hard. It's raining in here. Temperature inside the greenhouse you can see is almost 70 degrees. So perfect weather to be planting some seeds. So that's what we're gonna do today. First though, I wanna let go of those ladybugs. Okay, so here's the package I got in the mail yesterday. It's got some little ladybugs inside. I'm gonna free these little creatures. If I can figure out how to open the box. All right, so here you go. Ladybugs come in a nice bag like this. You can see they are ready to free my greenhouse of any evil creatures that like to destroy our plants. So I'm gonna open up the bag here really quick. And of course, while we're talking about evil creatures. Um, I just happened to look down and see this guy. Let's see, can you guys see that guy? That is an evil slug and he's been crawling around in here. And I tell you what, when you plant seeds, you have little seeds growing in here, nothing will destroy your future garden faster than one of these creatures. Okay, so got the ladybugs here. We're going to free them. We've got these lovely creatures here. You can see ladybugs. They're all over my hands now. Look at this hand right here. We love ladybugs. You can see they're just flying off now. They're gonna go get on my trees and take care of my aphids. I'm kind of hoping that they'll lay their eggs everywhere. So I'm gonna put them over by the trees now. Okay. So this orange tree right here has aphids on it. That guy was crawling my arm. It's kind of weird. Anyways, um, so I want to get these ladybugs all over these little blooms here. You can see they're just crawling all over me. So if bugs freak you out, this probably isn't the job for you. I'm trying to get these ladybugs to crawl onto these trees here and get the aphids off of the flowers that are blooming on here. Okay, so I put the ladybug bag in the orange tree, in my favorite orange tree, and you can see what's happening is they are making their self at home. Okay, so I put the bag of ladybugs on my orange tree and you can see they're making themselves at home and they will find any aphids that are in this greenhouse. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. There are a lot of aphids on my lemon tree here. And so I've hung the bag of ladybugs into this tree and they will climb to the top here and you can see right here, there's already a gathering of ladybugs having lunch on the aphids. So you can see the ladybugs are gathering around that section because there is a bunch of aphids right there. Okay, so this is the top of my lemon tree and you can see the aphids everywhere. So the ladybugs should be making their way up there shortly and they will eat those things up. Okay, so you can see the ladybugs here. Some of them have started to make their way up to the top of the tree where you see all these aphids. And you see they are already going to town on them. 
I'll show you this uh, section of the tree here when I'm done planting seeds and we'll see if they got them all. Okay, here we are about five minutes later. You can see several ladybugs have made their way up to the aphids. Okay, so you may notice in this video, I am wearing flip-flops. That's right. 47 degrees is hardly flip-flop weather, but it's 70 in here. By the time I'm done planting, it'll probably be 75, maybe 80. So it's definitely flip-flop weather in the underground greenhouse. Okay, so now it's time to start planting some seeds. I got my little containers here. I got all my seeds, we got peppers, strawberries, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, all sorts of things, uh, watermelons, pumpkins. So I'm gonna get those in the ground right now so we can have a great harvest this year, hopefully. Okay, so I have my bag of miracle Grow garden soil right here and you just have to buy the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? So the first thing we're gonna do is load a bunch of these up with soil. I like to hold it over the bag so you don't spill the soil on the ground and waste it. Okay, so I've filled up three of these with soil and now I have a bunch of these little ones here. I'm gonna fill up all these with soil as well. We're gonna plant a crap load of seeds this year. I kind of like to shake it a little bit to get the um, soil a little bit compacted. Not too crazy, but as you water it, the soil sinks and compacts, so it's nice to have it nice and full. Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of containers filled with soil here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start planting with that. If I need more, I'll fill up the other containers. Uh, if you look over here, behind me, these white containers here, these containers, I'll, I'll, once I put seeds in here, I put these in here, and it kind of makes it harder for the bugs to get to the plant. So, anywho, we'll get going on that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with cantaloupe, and I've got my eight seeds here, and I'm gonna be more aggressive than I've been in the past. So I'm going to plant eight seeds in four little containers here. So I'll put two per container. And that way if one seed fails, I didn't waste my time watering and taking care of that plant. Okay, so I have my little tabletop set up here and I'm just gonna take these seeds and just push them down there just really gently. Once again, I'm putting two seeds per container and I'm kind of putting them apart from each other. That way, when they start to grow, hopefully they won't get in each other's way. And that's it. Okay, and then one thing I do is I'll take a Sharpie and I'll write on a stick like this or something so I know it's cantaloupe and I'll know when it was planted. Okay, so now my cantaloupe seeds are ready. Last thing I'm gonna do is take my kiddo's little watering thingy here. It's perfect for something like this. And we're just gonna get these seeds watered right away so they can get going. Then I'm just gonna set it down into the box here where hopefully they'll be protected from bugs. Okay, next we have these little tomatoes. And I'll do the same thing, two seeds per container. Okay, I've planted the little toms. Now it's time to plant the big toms. Okay, now we will plant the peppers. Love me some peppers. Okay, so now it's time for the squash. My wife loves these things, so I may even plant extra. But for now, I just wanna kinda of show you how I do it. So I've got eight squash seeds here in my hand. And I just set one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Just set them on there just like that. And all I do is just kind of poke them down just really, I don't put them too deep. And then what I do afterwards is I just grab a little soil from the little container here. I just kind of filled in really gently like that. And then of course, take the little watering thing here and get them all some water. And once they're watered like that, we're just gonna put them down here in the box where they can grow. And once again, hopefully be protected from bugs. Okay, next we have cucumbers. Okay, then we're gonna plant some watermelon. Who doesn't love watermelon? Okay, we're gonna take a break from our regularly scheduled planting to show you the top of this lemon tree and what has happened with those aphids. And probably, it's probably been about a half hour since we've let ladybugs go, maybe a hair longer. You can see the ladybugs have attacked that part of the tree and you can already see significantly less aphids, so my plan to get rid of aphids is working spectacularly. How about that? How do you like them apples or lemons? Okay, so now we're gonna try some cauliflower. I just found these seeds. It said to use by 2012. I don't know if you read that. So I don't know if these seeds are gonna work, but we're gonna try an experiment. We're gonna plant seeds that said used by 2012, which was eight years ago, and see if we can grow some cauliflower. I also found these onions, which said to use by 2015. I'm not sure if you can see that. So we're gonna try an experiment and see if we can grow onions too. Okay, so all the vegetables are planted. You can see we've got cantaloupe to the left, little tomatoes to the right, Right here we have those onions we planted and the watermelon. And then right back here, these two containers are cantaloupe. And then we have cauliflower there and peppers right here. And then in this can over here, we've got the large toms and squash. So hopefully we will have a great harvest this year. And then of course I got my little thing here. We just come in here and just water everything really quick and make sure all those seeds are sopping wet. And that way, hopefully they can start germinating and we will have food this year. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna plant is strawberries. The last time I tried to plant strawberries, I failed miserably. They all started to grow and then they all died. So I've got these giant containers here. I've got two of them and I'm just gonna fill them with strawberry seeds. Wish me luck. Being a farmer can be boring sometimes. But for me, I'm not a farmer. I'm not a gardener, not really. This is all just a fun experiment for me. But this year, I really am being a little more serious. I wanna have success this year, more than in the past. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna plant some strawberries here. I've filled this probably as full as it has to be with dirt, so several inches of dirt. I'm just gonna pour these out in my hand. Should probably read the instructions really quick. It says, start indoors, two to three seeds together, every two feet. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just get going here. One, two. Cute little pink seeds here. Two more, one here and one here. Okay, then I'm just gonna kind of get in here and poke them down a little bit. Not too aggressively. There we go. Then I'm gonna throw just some soil over the top of everything real quick. Grab my, Little watering container here. 
and just make sure everything's nice and wet. And hopefully, that's probably enough. Hopefully in 100 days, it says 90 to 110 days, we'll have strawberries. How cool will that be? Okay, this is the second bucket and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna drop a whole bunch of seeds in here and yes, this might be over, okay, it is overkill. Yes, it's definitely overkill, but better overkill than underkill, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, that's it. Okay, so here's our setup. I've planted some strawberries in there that I can plant outside. These ones I'll probably keep in the greenhouse all year long, see how they do. And then when you come over here, you see the other vegetables and I'll just come out every morning and give these guys some water. Okay, so next I'll be going outside to plant some peas in the garden and uh, I'll bring you along for that. But let's check on this lemon tree that was being consumed by aphids and see how the ladybugs are doing. Okay, so I hung the bag right there. And if you follow up here, you will see a lot of Happy ladybugs. Probably all have full tummies by now. Now, before we head outside, I just have to show you this peach tree behind me. You can see all those blooms on there. And if I left it in here all summer, this would probably produce a bunch of peaches. But I gotta get this tree outside because you can see my lemon tree right here. It's kind of getting overshadowed by this peach tree. And to be honest, I would much rather have oranges than peaches. And so when I transplant this tree outside, I'm sure any of the peaches that were growing would die, but you cannot beat the smell of all the flowers in this greenhouse. It smells so, so good. Okay, it's kind of windy out here, so I'm gonna apologize in advance for the poor audio, but I've got my peas here that have been soaking in water for probably about 30 hours now and I'm gonna plant them. I'll turn the camera around and kinda of show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you can see this little like fence thing here that I've put in. That will give the peas something to climb up. And I have that done here and also over here. And I'm gonna take a bunch of my miracle Grow garden soil and I'm gonna pour it in along here so the seeds have some rich soil. something nice to grow into. Now I'm just going to take these peas and just poke them in here. Gently. They've been soaking so they're kind of a little bit mushy so you want to be really careful at this point. I'll just cover them up when I'm done. I'm gonna take the rest of the miracle Grow and dump it in through this section here and plant the rest of the peas over on this side. everybody that's it after three plus hours i finally have everything planted and i am done please if you found this entertaining give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to ring that little bell also to be notified each time i post new videos and uh, we'll see you next time thanks